the hand of God is still writing history. And I'm so thankful that he's included me in his plan and included you. As I reflect this Thanksgiving over the past 26 years as being president of Crossroads Bible College, one of the great thrills I have is remembrances of people, people whom God has used, people who have invested in my life, people I've cried with, people I've laughed with, to see faculty pour out so sacrificially into students' lives and see students transformed by the Word of God, to see staff pray over students and work with students, and, and, and to see us in our own families go through personal trial and, and, and praying for one another and, and, and seeing God answers those prayers. We've seen staff come. We've seen staff go. But uh, one of the things that I'm looking at this Thanksgiving, a very special Thanksgiving, perhaps the last Thanksgiving we will go through as Crossroads Bible College. In our pursuit of merger with College of Biblical Studies, if this is approved, there will no longer be a single Crossroads Bible College. To some people, that is a sad thing. It's, it's a death of a, of, a, of a ministry. But I want you to understand that... Um, God is bigger than all of that. God says, in the words of Jesus, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not, provide, will not prevail against it. You and I have the privilege and still have the privilege of working with God to advance his kingdom. You see, what has happened at Crossroads Bible College is not measured uh, by our buildings or by our finances or by our organization. What is happened through Crossroads Bible College is that lives have been transformed. The word of God has been spread, and that will continue to happen. I want to encourage you, as the Dr. Blocker and the College of Biblical Studies have, have put down a, a, a three things that we're looking at. One is preserving the past of Crossroads Bible College. You know, I want to encourage you this, this Thanksgiving, as I want to encourage myself since it may be our last as a single institution, to, to go back and count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what God has done. I think back on the legacy that I inherited from the late Dr. James Wells, from the late Dr. Clinton Caulfield, from Ken Davis, those who were who were part of founding the then Baptist Bible Institute. Uh, I'm building on that legacy. But then I remind myself that God raised up this college, and even before those families were involved, God was building his church. And so he's given us the privilege of, of participating in it. So we want to preserve that past. And I think we need to we need to write down some things. We need to get some blessings together. Challenge you to do that as students, as faculty, as staff, as um, board members, and as donors. And then I also want to challenge you with the thought of uh, how do we impact our present? You know, we, the, organizationally, we might merge, but but what comes out of that is a bigger organization, a bigger footprint, more opportunities to together impact our present for the glory of God. And then we're shaping our future. You see, Crossroads Bible College isn't dying or ceasing in, in, in from the sense that God is building his kingdom. God is still writing history. It, God's program didn't stop when he when he shut down the tabernacle and went to the temple and when he closed down the temple and came to the church or you, you, you know the fact that we look for his his return is indication he's still working there's still things to do so we're still part of his program we'll still have relationships i like to think of people who have left as not losing people but spreading the influence of crossroads bible college through my brothers and sisters so i want to encourage you this thanksgiving let's be thankful Let's thank God that as I see his hand working in this pursuit of merger in so many miraculous ways, I just say, thank you, Jesus. And I want to close by saying, I thank Jesus and I thank the glorious people I've been able to work with. You have impacted my life in so many ways, and I thank God for you. So this Thanksgiving, let's just remember that God is still writing history and we're part of it. The past we will remember, the present we will impact, and the future we will shape by the hand of God. God bless you.